Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, Thursday Night Live Bible Study. We are in the building, get in here, get in here. This is the place to be, get in here. Let me get my cough drop game going while y'all drop it in. Y'all know I always give you a few minutes of grace. I made sure I was on time today. I'm always on time. But yesterday, um, yesterday, last week, I was actually two whole minutes late, which is not acceptable. So I said, uh-uh, I am not going to be late this week. Hey, queen, thank you for being here. Thank you for dropping in. God is awesome. We have an awesome time every, every week. So this is Thursday Night Live. This is the best place to be on a Thursday night. You could be anywhere. You could be doing anything, but this is where you need to be to see and hear what God is saying about us right now. Uh-oh, my girls are here. I see y'all popping in. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Rose. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Girls in the building. I'm just getting my cough drop game going here. Something is on my face. Y'all excuse me, I have to break this cough drop up. Because <laughs> it makes me talk funny. Love y'all so much. Thank y'all for being here. We got just a couple more minutes. Grace. But see, there you go. It's already flying all over the place in my mouth. <laughs> in my mouth. But while we are rocking right through our grace period, I'm going to go ahead and get the introductions out of the way. We know that we always have newcomers. We have people who are looking, peeking, trying to find out what is going on. So if that is you, if you have invited a friend, bring your auntie, bring your girlfriends, bring your mom. Come on in the building. Rose says she's going to have to catch the replays because we will be doing the remix. Let me go ahead on and make that announcement, which I will repeat that before we get off tonight. So we always do Thursday Night Live every week, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm here in the building Thursday Night Live to see what God has to say about us. So we know that the holidays are coming up. So for the next two weeks, two weeks, we have Christmas Eve and we have New Year's Eve. I want you to spend that time with your family. I want to spend that time with my family. And at the same time, we're not going to neglect the ministry. We're not going to put God on the shelf. We're going to do the remix. So we will be right here Tuesday afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern time for the next two weeks. Okay, so you get me tonight. Then fast forward five more days, God willing, I will be right back here dropping the word. So catch the replay if you can't be here live. Make sure you drop the comment, hashtag replay. By the way, those who can't be live with us tonight, same thing. If you have to come in late, I understand folks are getting in, getting settled. Make sure that you come in. Drop the comment, hashtag replay. Let me know that you're here so I can acknowledge you and engage with you. Hey, Toya, thank you for dropping in. So um, I got into that announcement just to make sure I don't miss that. Let me do the introduction again for the people who are new, for the people who may not have been here in a while. My name is Artisha T. Bolding. I am your teacher for tonight. God placed this ministry on my heart and uh, this Bible study in my spirit. Last year, actually right about this time was our first kickoff. And it's so funny because I was thinking about it. I'm pretty sure those first few episodes I was wearing this shirt. This is my absolute favorite shirt. I love this shirt <laughs> so much. Anybody that's been around any, for any period of time, you've seen this quite a few times. I love this shirt. But... Um, chosen Chick Discussion Group. This is where real women of God talk about real issues and what God has to say about us, our situation, things that are going on in our life, questions that we may have had for months or years, whatever is burning in your heart. This is where God speaks. We share and share alike. We are all queens. We are all beautiful sisters right in here, chosen of God. And I'm so thankful that he not only hears prayer, but he answers prayer and he provides revelation, knowledge, and understanding to us on a regular basis. Again, I'm the author, founder of this group. I am an ordained minister and a certified life coach. That's my day job. I absolutely love it. I get to motivate women and entrepreneurs to birth 
their business, book, or brand. I ensure they are no longer stuck in life, but thriving in success that's aligned with their passion and purpose. And I love it because I literally get to cuddle, nurture, and guide beautiful, beautiful women to live their best life now, to have their best relationship ever, to reconnect with their family members, to get their businesses off the ground. It's amazing. It's nothing like it. And everything that I've gone through has been absolutely worth it for me to be able to serve in this capacity. Yes! So, again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Always invite a friend, family member, anybody that's on Facebook that's a woman and they know the Lord or need to know the Lord, invite her in here. Tell her to get in here, drop her email address so that I can connect with her and send her some good stuff. Let me invite a few people because our grace period is over. Um, I'm just going to invite whoever I see right here. I know some of y'all might be busy, but that's okay. Sarah, you came up on the invite list right here. Let me invite. Uh-oh. Just no. Okay. All right. I think we... Oh, my goodness, y'all. I pressed the wrong button. Y'all know I'm not tech savvy. Let me get out of there. I'm not pressing nothing. <laughs> I pressed home, which took me out of Facebook. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, see, this is why. This is why I don't have no business doing all this other stuff. Okay. So, we're going to jump right in. I am going to, of course, start us off in prayer. And then we are going to get into this practical wisdom, this kingdom wisdom, so that we can finish this year off strong. It's going to be amazing. So listen, God is still coming through. We got two more weeks of this. So I definitely encourage you, if you can't get here Tuesday, um, to catch the replay. Put it on your phone, a notification, a reminder. Listen, get back in here, catch it. Sarah, don't be laughing at me. That's terrible. That's a shame somebody that run a media company ain't tech savvy worth a dog on. That's terrible. But that's okay, because God gave me the wisdom to do what? Ask other people, hire other people. So when it really comes down to it, I don't have to do all of that. Yes. <laughs> so let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you, God. Thank you for a spirit of love and light and laughter. You are so awesome, God. You have given us joy, joy unspeakable. You've given us peace, peace that not the world giveth, but you giveth. No one can understand the level of peace and love, Lord God, that you've put in our hearts. It's supernatural. We don't understand it. Our minds can't even comprehend because, Lord God, you don't see our faults. You see our needs. My God, and everything we need, your hand hath supplied, Lord God. So just thank you. Thank you for being true to your word. Bless us, God, as we come before your word on tonight. Once again, Lord God, sharing and caring with one another, Lord, that this is an open forum. This is a safe place. You have blessed. Holy Spirit, God, Lord, you rule and super rule in our lives. And in this Bible study, we yield to you. Hide us behind the cross, Lord God, that your spirit within us is what will shine through. Where there is a question, where there is fear, where there is... um. A misunderstanding where clarity and guidance are needed, Lord God. You do it. You provide it. I am your vessel. Open, Lord God. Speak through me because it's not about me, but it's all about you. So thank you, God, for revelation, knowledge, and understanding on tonight. Thank you for hiding a word in our heart that we might not sin against it, Lord God, and that this word will fall on good ground and it will bring forth fruit and more fruit and much fruit, God, in its season. We love you on today and we thank you. Thank you for open hearts and open minds and all your blessings from your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo, I, I was feeling that a little bit. I had to kind of pull back out of there. I said, all right, now we're about to have prayer service and not Bible, <laughs> not Bible study. So, which, don't try to give me no ideas, Lord. I have to really consider that, but y'all know I'm always. And speaking of prayer requests, you all know that I always take prayer requests. So um, if you have one that's on your heart, um, save that. We will be taking those at the end. If it's long or confidential, you know, you can email me at thehealedgirl at gmail.com and I will pray and agree with you and give you guidance that I get from the Lord. Okay, love y'all. All right, so 
I do not have a song this week. Look, let me tell you the song for real that's been in my heart. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. That is like the for real Hispanic version. That has been in my heart like <laughs> all week. And it could be because I've been watching the Selena uh, miniseries on Netflix. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that's it. So Feliz Navidad to y'all. Okay. So same like last week. So this is God's doing. And when he tell me to go, it go. So, and when he tell me to move, move, it's no problem. So just like last week, um, and I feel like it's going to be the next two weeks too. We'll see if the Lord says anything different. Notes will not be provided. So you definitely want to grab a pen and or catch the replay. It's worth listening to again, because God always says something great. So love, uh, so make sure you do that. And again, everything I do is always out of love. Even when I might come just a little bit rough, it's just through the spirit. So, yes, Rose says she got an ugly sweater that says Felice Navidad. Rose, you need to send me a picture. <laughs> Put it on and send me a picture. And um, so last week, again, we're not doing an extensive recap, but I, uh, we talked about practical wisdom from the word last week. God blessed us. We came um, out of Proverbs. We came out of a few other places. And it's going to be similar tonight. God blessed us through the Psalms, through the Proverbs. So we got some good, good stuff for tonight. Because we are going to finish this year strong. Y'all, when I say that 2020 came in like a wrecking ball and like wreck shop, like just totally ran over everything that we thought was normal and was happening and was right. And so we had to recalibrate we had to relearn some things. We had to really, you know, change up the whole game. 2021 is going to be same, the same, but different. It's going to be a time, and I'm going to talk about it probably a little bit later, to pivot. Okay, you have to know when to turn. When God move, you move just like that. That's how it has to be. Okay, so it's a such thing as, you know, you roll with the punches. The great thing about being connected with your creator in heaven is that nothing surprises him. He already knew. And guess what? As quiet as it may be kept, he already prepared you. The words from your spiritual leaders, what you've been reading, he's already put that stuff in your spirit. So you have the tools. You are equipped to conquer. Hello. Was that the name of the challenge? Equipped to conquer. You have that equipment deep down on the inside of you. So when the situation arises, you got to pull it up. You got to say, okay, Holy Spirit, pull that out of me and let me apply it as it's needed. And so that's what we're going to do in the world for this next few weeks. And I am excited about that. Okay. So do, 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 do. where do we start? I had this. In, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't want y'all to think because I'm not an excuses person. That's not how I get down. It is what it is. I had my little notes and everything so nice. And then some computer thing happened and I look, y'all know what wing things are, just random characters and other language was in my stuff. And I said, I'm not, I'm not even going to do it. So I just literally just deleted that. It was like a whole page or pages of it. I just deleted that. And I do believe that what was left was the right thing. So we're going to find out <laughs> in just one minute. But um, the Lord had also dropped something in my spirit earlier this afternoon that um, was not previously there. So we're going to get to that if he allows. So that being said, we're going to jump this right off in Psalms chapter one. Oh, that's a good one. It's all good. I love the word. So we're going to jump it off right there. Yes. And so y'all know I favor the New Living Translation. That's my favorite. Um, but if you have B-I-B-L-E, that's all right with me. And we will be covering a few other versions because when I do my cross-reference, I do it first for myself and then I see if it's needed, if it's appropriate to share with you. And tonight, it was. So I do have um, a few coming out of the message version. I think I pulled some from the Amplified version. So it's good. I got excited. Okay, so which y'all know it's not hard for me to be excited. So, uh-oh, my girl Just needs in the building. Justine, I hope I'm saying your name correct. Welcome. She's a brand new member of the group. That's my friend that I met in another group. And she loves the Lord. So we're going to be, you were right on time, girl. Um, Psalms chapter 1, and we're starting at verse 1. And this is the amplified version tonight. Yep, I didn't even put no new living in my notes from here, did I? Nope, not from this chapter. Okay, let's go. Psalms 
chapter one. Starting at verse one, this is again the amplified version. Blessed or when, okay, so we know, let me just pull back one second. For those who may not be as familiar with the Amplified Bible, I like the Amplified because certain words they amplify, they highlight, they extrapolate, pull out different um, definitions of that word right in the text. So if you hear me say, or that's me addressing the words that's in the brackets, that's that Amplified piece for that particular word. Stop me, ask me a question, drop the comment, I will address it if that gets to be confusing for anybody okay justin good i'm glad i'm saying your name right welcome okay blessed or fortunate prosperous and favored by god i love those definitions for blessed blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked wicked can be following their advice and example we don't want to walk in the counsel of the wicked and this for some, this past Sunday and this past Tuesday, my spiritual dad mentioned this and I said, I got to touch on this with my girls for tonight. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, okay, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. Okay, so now let me go back to these brackets. So we will be fortunate. Okay, sis, my sis Teresa's in the building. We will be fortunate, we will be prosperous and favored by God if we do not follow the advice and example of the wicked, okay? Let me say this right here and then Jesse will understand this too because um, I've taken a lot of trainings. God has blessed me. Talking about divine appointment and divine connection, I don't know about you, but 2020 perfect vision clarity, it's been that for me. I've seen some things clear. I've seen people, true colors revealed. I'm talking about my eyes have been wide open all year. Hey, Tiff, thank you for being here. That's my sis. Listen, so it has absolutely been perfect vision for me. Through the storm and the rain, perfect vision. Do you hear me what I say with my cute cheap glasses on? Perfect vision. So what God is saying is that we cannot take advice and follow the example of everybody. Now, what I want to say is this. Because, and this is something I speak. One of my affirmations, take it if you will. It was in the challenge as well. I am healthy. I am wealthy. And I am wise. Okay? So, the Bible tells us. We pause in just one minute. The Bible tells us that um, it is the will of God that we prosper and be in health. Even as our soul prospers. So, we know. If we belong to Christ, we did the ABCs, it's so easy. If we accepted Christ, if we believe in our heart and we confess the ABCs, we are saved. God has come to live in our heart. He is our Savior. Our salvation is intact. We are on the way to heaven. Simple as that, right? So that means our soul is prospering because our soul won't be damned to hell. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Justice won't have his way, but God will have his way. So our soul is prospering. But that word says that we should prosper and be in health even as our soul prosper. So what does that speak to? That speaks to that life more abundantly, that life right here on earth. It's one thing to have eternal life, but it's something totally different to have abundant life. Hello, last week we touched on going to heaven but not enjoying the trip. Why not enjoy the trip when literally, come on, do we know the word? The word says the cattle on a thousand hills belong to our father in heaven. We are royalty, okay? A peculiar people. So why do we have to live in lack? Why do we have to have constant pain? We know that there are trials and tests. We know that there's a process that we must trust God through. We know that he takes us through those things to teach us, to give us a testimony. Come on, somebody, so that we get different sides of him revealed. We know that. But why would we want to walk in lack? How would we want to have a pity party to be poor, poor in spirit? No, 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 no. That's not what God called us to do. So the key to being fortunate to being prosperous and being favored by God is not to follow the example of these wicked people. 
Okay, and I don't want to talk in circles, but when the Lord is downloading, I just have to give it to y'all like he give it. So, I want to touch on that wealth piece, right? Wealthy, abundant life, okay? It's nothing absolutely wrong with that. Prospering is right there in the scripture. Okay, look at the Amplified Version. I didn't make it up, okay? Didn't edit it at all. Right there. Prosperous. Wealth. So, there are a lot of wealthy people in our country, right? And there is... I want to say a rumor, a trend, an understanding, a thought that in order to gain wealth, you have to be cutthroat. You have to be wicked. You have to be willing to, you know, make a deal with the devil, so to speak. You got to be willing to, you know, do anything. Some people will sell their family members down the river, their mama, their kids, their baby daddy, and whoever else. But guess what? God has given us kingdom principles so that we will be healthy and wealthy and wise. There is nothing wrong with money. The word says the love of money is the root of all evil. But guess what? It takes money to get kingdom work done. Okay? It takes money to pay for these lights and this internet to pay for this phone that I don't have know how to use. Come on, somebody. It takes money to do all of those things. So we need to understand and we need to have that clear clarity. Come on, we got two more weeks in this thing. Okay? We got 14 more days. Right? To get this clarity, don't walk in 2021 like you did in 2020. We might get blindsided again. I'm not speaking it. I'm not saying the Lord showed me anything. We don't know what the next thing is going to be. We thought that this was crazy. We didn't know how we was going to get through this. But look at us. We done made it all the way to the end of the year. We have been on nine months, officially today, okay? Today, December 17, nine months from today. I was sitting in church. It was a Tuesday night. It was March 17th. Okay, that's uh St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? March 17th, Tuesday morning Bible study when my spiritual dad shut our church down. Okay, we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. He's never failed us yet. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. We cannot look to these folks just because... Two, two things, so it's two sides of the coin. We're talking about healthy, wealthy, and wise, and I went way too far on this, but God knows. Healthy, wealthy, and wise, the wisdom, okay? We don't follow the counsel of the ungodly. You know, it don't take but a five-minute conversation. You know if somebody has been underhanded, dirty dealing, sneaking and tweaking to get their fortune. You already know it. Some have inherited, okay, some have done some really dirty things. Some have told the most notorious lies in the world to get their riches. That's not the example that we follow. There's a such thing as a kingdom entrepreneur. And like I was saying, Jesse will appreciate that because we've been spending time all last week with him. And it's been amazing. And I'm talking about just I randomly clicked on an email that I normally might have would have skipped over. Because I had way too many subscriptions in my in my email. But divine appointment divine connection so that's what it is that's why you have to communicate with your creator that's why you have to stay open do you understand the wisdom that god is dropping right now do you understand how much your life can change if you take this word into your heart tonight it's blessing me all over again and y'all see me i'm totally off book here i do not, i do not have any of this in the notes but god has poured this thing in our spirit on tonight to take this and he wants us to be prosperous and in health even as our soul prospers he wants us to be healthy and wealthy and wise and we're not going to do that by taking counsel from wicked people by patterning ourselves after people that we know that's doing dirty deals okay so that was a whole lot but it was needed and i know uh i know it was needed okay verse two says but his his is me and you okay the blessed person that's what verse two is talking about but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law, his precepts and teachings, he, me and you, habitually meditates day and night. We have to stay in this word, that gospel music, YouTube. Y'all know my favorite, number one, my favorite is my dad. Number two, my favorite is T.D. Jakes. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about if you need a word, get ready, get ready, get ready. That man in Texas We'll put a word on you, okay? Hey, Alexandria, thank you for being here. Okay, so we have to keep the word before us day and night. Not saying that we can't enjoy things, and I encourage us, of course, 
to spend time with our family members and loved ones. We have people that we are called to, whether it's family members, whether it's people in the community, whether it's people in our Facebook circle of influence. Okay, God wants us to do these things. So we have to have that word dropping in our spirit, in our eye gaze and ear gaze so that we can pour it out. It's been so cute. Everybody wants to say you can't pour from an empty cup. Well, who is pouring in your cup? Okay, you got to have the right people. Come on, somebody. You got to have the right people pouring in your cup. Look, y'all like Jake's too. That's when I say that's my boy. That's my boy. I want to meet him. I just want to shake his hand and look him in his eyes and say, you bad boy. You, <laughs> that's, that's all I want to say. That is all I want to say because he, God did something when he called him. I'm serious. But guess what? He's no greater than you and I. God did something when he called you. Rose, Jessney, Alexandria, Tip, Sharonda, Sarah. God did something when he called you chosen woman of God. Come on. Y'all got to make sure that y'all have the right thing. Pour it in your cup because guess what? You are commanded to pour it out. You may not keep it to yourself. You can't just feast on it. How selfish of you. How selfish of you. You mean to tell me you have a spiritual refrigerator freezer full of food and you know your sisters and brothers, your neighbors and friends are starving spiritually and you won't share? How dare you? How dare you? Shame on you. God has called us to the people that we are called to. We all have a what? An assignment. We all have an assignment. Oh, Justine says she's been to um, Bishop's Church. Oh, man, I would love, love, love to visit. I would love to visit. I can't wait till all of this blows over. <clears throat> so it says we meditate on the day and night. And verse 3 says he is still talking about the blessed person, okay, which is you and I. And he will be like a tree, come on, firmly planted and fed by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season its leaves i love this do not wither and in whatever he does he prospers and comes to maturity so what does that say we have the spiritual midas touch we can't lose with the stuff that we use success belongs to us and guess what even oprah says it's no such thing as failure it's just feedback it's just telling you that that wasn't the direction so you go here, you bump your head, it don't work out. Okay, going over here, bump. Oh, okay, go this way. Up, oh, that's the way right there, bam. It's no such thing as failure, it's just feedback. We cannot lose. Everything, it says, whatever he does, <laughs> I had to find a spot. Whatever he does, he prospers and comes to maturity. What? That means that we're not going to be cut short. That means that we're not going to fall. We may stumble, but guess what? We're not going to fall no further than our knees because we're going to pray and we're going to re-up because we serve a God that not only hears prayer, but answers prayer. God, you said that I have what I say. So I'm speaking success over my life. God, you said that if I walk up right before you, you will withhold no good thing from me. God, you said that if I um, delight myself in you, you will give me the desires of my heart. We got it, and that's in my um stuff in here somewhere coming up. We have to speak the word of God, okay? Only speak the word. Never mind what you see. Speak the word for victory. That's the song. The songwriter knew what she was talking about when she said that. Ain't that right, Tiff? Come on now. Verse 4 says, the wicked, and the wicked is guess who? Those who live in disobedience to God's law. Okay, so either we are a royal priesthood, either we are a chosen chick, either we are a beautiful queen, woman of God, or we are the wicked, which means we live in disobedience. Okay, the wicked are not so, but they are like the chaff. What is chaff? Worthless and without substance. Oh, are you a woman of substance on tonight? Are you a woman of substance? Only you can answer the question. And guess what? God knows the real. Let me tell you one thing. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool God none of the time, baby. Let me tell you what. Okay? It's something about the man that knows the inner working of your soul. Every dirty deed you've ever done. Every sneaky thought you've ever had. And yet, he doesn't cause us to walk in guilt and shame. And yet, he loved us. And yet, he called us by name. 
Okay. Are you a woman of substance on tonight? Are you obedient to the word of God, to what he's called you to do? Okay. What we have to be extra careful of, especially, oh my God, especially in this day of social media. Wow. Okay. We got more friends. Let me tell you a secret. God bless y'all. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not going to regret this. <laughs> Because I don't know who might catch the replay. God bless you. Drop the ha comment. Hashtag replay. I went. A couple of you all know this already. Um, this was. This was last year. This was last year because I was um, promoting the book. And things like that. So I literally went on a social media campaign. I went. And I made as many connections as I could. When I saw people who um I'm let me oh god I'm give just getting ready let me pull back the cover just a little bit okay this is T right here okay this is T this is coach T you know so those of you who are close to me I would look at y'all's pages and I would see different friends I would look at y'all friends if y'all friends look like they was talking right and had some sense boop sent them a request right so I did I stalked several of you all's pages and I <laughs> and I was like oh okay Tell your friends we should be friends type thing, okay? So I went on a social media campaign last year. And I have, I don't even know how many friends now. Like, I know when I pitch myself getting on different people's shows across IG and Facebook, I have about 4,000 friends. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. I do not know. <laughs> Listen, I do not know these people. And it used to be, I don't know if y'all do this. It used to be... If I would get a friend request, they go my sis. Hey, Hazel. I know a few people did have a hard time getting in because I saw the numbers kept flipping up and down. So I knew, I know what that means. There's nothing I can do about it. But welcome, you're here now. We're um we're in Psalms 1, the Amplified version. Um, and I was just sharing about friends. I'm talking about being a woman of substance, right? So my point is I have um probably about 3,800 friends on Facebook and like I, said, I do not know these people okay the reason that I did and I was passionate about it is because maybe they will click on something that I say that God put in my heart to post repost or whatever which I don't be reposting foolish and I might crack a joke here and there but you know I'm like grandma I ain't no play toy I don't do no whole lot I don't do no whole lot of playing you know that's just that's just me but uh the reason that I am saying this talking about being a woman of substance in this time of social media and all these friends that we got and all of this content that we have access to, we really have to be careful of what we are taking in. Um, these beliefs, these triggers, all of this trendy mess, taking it on, it can be very dangerous. That is a slippery slope and you find yourself connected, hello, to the wrong type of people. You got to be plugged in the source. Hey, Lena, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you for stopping by. I love you. And you have got to be careful liking, loving, resharing all of this stuff. Because guess what you're saying? Guess what you're telling heaven? you telling heaven that you're in agreement with it. I'm telling you, I don't know about y'all. Y'all might say, T, you too deep. You trying to do too much. Like, what's, what's really good? I'm telling you, when I read some of this stuff and I go to click the like button, I feel convicted. I, I don't know what you, I don't know what kind of Jesus you say you're talking to. I don't know what kind of Holy Spirit you talking about you got, okay? But I can tell you about me. And I can tell you, when my finger go to touch it, it's just like I'll be like this. <laughs> and the Lord be like, ah, 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 no. It's like he be like this. Mm -mm -mm. Tap that, pull it back. Mm -mm. Some of this political mess, I have very stern political views. I have shared some of them with you all. But guess what? God has not caused us to spread a spirit of division, of foolishness and drama. I, I've said this 1,200 times I know in here. God is not into that. Okay, so just let us just be cautious of that. When we're talking about being a woman of substance, we're talking about walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. We got to make sure that we are not reposting, retweeting, re-whatevering regramming <laughs> that's a word that i learned this year up uh, mess i mean this week excuse me i learned that word regramming the foolishness because you are saying that you side on to that and you are going to be called into question 
about that. You have to answer for that. Okay, so I did that was just a little note. Was not in my notes at all. But I just wanted to share that. And I feel like something that flew in here and bit me. Please excuse me. How is it that we are at 40 degrees and there are still mosquitoes biting me? Can you tell me that for one time? Because that is really, really, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I'm just not here for that. Side note. <laughs> back to <laughs> Back to uh back to our regular schedule programming. Let me come back to four in one second. The B part of four. But they are like chaff, worthless and without substance. Who is this? Who is the he that this is talking about? The wicked, the people that are being disobedient to um to God's law, like chaff, worthless and without substance, which the wind blows away. Ooh, if we want to take root. If we want to have success, if we want to have great relationships, if we want to have a great ministry, if we want to be healthy, wealthy, and wise, if we want to prosper and be in health in the earth, we can't be like this. We have to be people of substance and not blown away by every wind of doctrine. Yep, something has definitely bit me. Excuse me. <clears throat> Verse 5 says, Therefore, the wicked will not stand unpunished, in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. God's going to bring that strong hand down on them. God is not going to let them get away with it. You mean to tell me that you got all this access to this word, you got all this internet, you got all these beautiful women that you can say, let me ask a question, let me see what they're talking about, and you're going to be disobedient? No, God says they're going to be punished. Verse 6, for the Lord knows and fully approves the way of the righteous. That business, okay? Going back to school, doing that career change, writing that book, starting that ministry, starting your own Facebook group. Invite me, okay? God said, fully approved. That is your word tonight. Fully approved. Come on. Come on. Somebody in this group, I have to let, I have to let her tell her own testimony. Somebody in this group is getting just overwhelmed with blessings right now. I'm talking about new house, new car, business lease. Like this is one young person that I'm talking about. She can tell you for yourself. Fully approved. That's what God says. So why would we walk in lack? Okay. You mean to tell me you know and supposedly have a very close relationship with the person that owns everything and knows everything. And yet you don't own nothing and you don't know nothing. Oh, whoa. What? What? Does that even make sense? Does that even make sense? You have unlimited access to the person that knows everything and owns everything. And yet you don't own nothing and don't know nothing. That is absolutely crazy to me. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else in here. That's crazy talk to me. So I have purposed in my heart that I'm going to own some things. That I'm going to know some things. Lena, what you saying? Yes. Give your husband a hug for me, Lena. Bless his heart. Yes, God is good. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. The wicked will not stand unpunished in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. Verse 6 says, For the Lord knows and fully approves the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Again, are you a woman of substance or are you a wicked woman? Okay. The Lord already says what the wicked is. Those who are disobedient. Your way is going to perish. Things that you do are going to fall by the wayside. It's no real success without Christ. It's no real success without the leading of the Holy Spirit, okay? You say you got God, but how much of you does God have, okay? Let him shine a light and love in them dark places of your heart, okay? That heartbreak, okay? You might have been heartbroken by some foolishness that happened on your job. You might have been heartbroken by that ex. It could be your baby daddy, okay? It could be your mom. You don't understand why y'all can't get along. It could be your dad. You don't understand why he never wanted to spend no time with you. Okay? It could be your auntie or your favorite cousin that you really just looked up to and they just hurt you so bad. Something that they said. Or, you know, get on, girl. Get, get away from me. I don't want to spend no time with you. Okay? We all have childhood and years ago trauma issues that we're dealing with. Okay, you are not alone. It's happened to all of us. Okay. I let me tell you something. 
I found out in 2019, yep, that was last year, spring of 2019, I found out, I did not know what to call, I couldn't label it, I didn't know what it was, I knew there was an issue, but I'm talking to some of my spiritual family, like deep in just the Lord, just giving them revelation and insight for me, I found out that I really had abandonment issues from my childhood, that I didn't, I was just like, well, and I, I, the Lord had dropped it on me a little bit, but I kind of didn't want to do it. I'm just rolling. I'm just like, all right, Lord, I'm not doing an emotional thing now. I'm going to roll. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do that. And just ignored it, ignored it. So pushed it down, pushed it down into my pinky toe. But that pinky toe was rotten. That thing was rotten off. Okay? And guess what? When your pinky toe is right off, you don't walk right. Hello, somebody. You can't walk right. You cannot walk right. But let me tell you. God sent me somebody to say, we need to get some medicine on that toe. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this right here. And God shined that light and that love into that pinky toe. Hello, somebody, that dark area. Never been the same. And let me tell you what, it's worth it. It is worth it to walk through that pain. Sometimes that process is so painful. You're like, oh my God, I don't feel like dealing with this. This is nuts. Okay? That's why a lot of us, is, a lot of us, don't like to deal with therapists we don't feel like somebody should be in our business we don't want to go there scratching up that old wound but sometimes you got to scratch that scab off of there and get that good old peroxide in there get that good old neosporin in there and clean that funky stuff up hello somebody i'm talking spiritual right we need to get that spiritual medicine okay so that's all psalms one is talking about let's look at this the message version Yes, it absolutely releases you from bondage. Yes, indeed. Yes, Justin. <laughs> yes, Hazel. Yes. So look at this. The message version. I'm going to go through this because y'all don't let me talk too much. <laughs> the message version of Psalm um, 1. Listen to verse 2 and 3 in the message version. Instead, you threw, instead of being wicked, instead of walking in the counsel of the ungodly, getting with foolishness, Instead, message version says, you thrill to God's word. You chew on scripture day and night. You're a tree replanted in Eden. Oh my God, that's powerful. You're a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. Well, let me sit back on that a minute. What? What? I love that. You're a tree in Eden, bringing forth fruit Fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. I'm sorry, that's dope. I got so excited when I read that. I was like, oh my goodness. And verse six of the message says, God charts. We're talking about the um, righteous now. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about a woman of substance. Okay. God charts the road you take. The road they take is skid row. Whoa. My LA folks, Hazel, tell them about skid row. Y'all remember what's... The thing with the big plant. Mm, mm, mm. Little Shop of Horrors. I had, to, <laughs> I had to bring it up. Little Shop of Horrors. Do you remember Skid Row? They had a whole song about it. Tachina Arnold, Pam from Martin, and Gina from Martin. Tisha Campbell. Talked about down on Skid Row. Okay? Down on Skid Row. We don't want that. In LA, Skid Row is terrible. That's where all of the homeless people, and they be like in the side. I don't know how LA kind of organized that. I don't know if I ever asked anybody, but there is a section of the city. There are these few blocks, and it's literally where all the homeless are. Like they set up tents and boxes, and that's where they live outside, sleeping on the street, begging for money, everything. It's it's not, the Hazel took the words right out of my mouth. It ain't nothing nice. Okay. The message version says, the way of the wicked, the road the wicked take is scared road. We don't want to be like that. Not when we're supposed to be women of substance. Not when, once again, when your daddy owned everything. Can you imagine Bill Gates' daughter on Skid Row? For what? Why? This fool owns everything, just about. You know, name everywhere. Richest man, top of everybody list. If Oprah had a, uh, a child, can you imagine Oprah's child on Skid Row, homeless? Why? That, that just does not make any sense. I know that doesn't make any sense to anybody. Well, guess what? That's what you and I look like when we disobey God. When we go walk in lack. For what? For what? And and I don't want to be so heavy on materialistic things because it's not about material. Um, Even spiritually. Why would you be spiritually bankrupt when you don't have to be? 
Okay, your love tank should be full. Come on, somebody. Your gifts and talents should be sharpened because you have all of this access. Access. To every, come on, Jeff Bezos, the Amazon guy. What, what? This is literally the richest man in the world. This fool had made so much money in the last nine months. All of us making him rich because I can't tell you. Amazon lit up my phone. It's just like this finger right here or this thumb right here. I'll be like, boop, 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 boop. Send, bring it to the house. <laughs> Amazon and Walmart.com has been my friend. You understand what I'm saying? Even Jeff Bezos couldn't have predicted, excuse me, couldn't have predicted how much money he has made in the last nine months. Because everybody is at home. People buying stuff that they do not need. Just a, just a note here. What would it look like his kids, his close loved ones, going without? It makes no sense. Sarah, listen, Sarah, you know we talk. I know you be on Amazon. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Listen, so that's just an example, okay? But take it spiritual. Why would you be depressed, okay? It's 12 noon. You got the curtains pulled. You eating ice cream in a robe. Which, hey, if you're chilling, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about spiritual. You don't want to take no calls. You don't want to talk to nobody. You're just down in the dumps. We all have seasons where we go through sadness. We already talked about this. Um, seasonal depression is a real thing. Okay. We have circumstances that are that are ugly. Okay. We're dealing with stuff with our husbands, with our children, at work. And if we let, if we focus too much on that, it can easily get us down. Because that stuff gets real crazy, right? But what the word is telling us is to meditate on his word day and night. We have to pull ourselves back and say, oh, no. If you look at your life in this hand right here, and you look at the word in this hand right here, if that don't match up, then you got to get it together. And you need to tell the Lord, God, you said that I will have what I say. So I'm going to speak the word. God, you said this right here, but I'm over here looking like this right here. Something ain't adding up. And you got to take it to the Lord and say, God, you fix it. God, you fix You show me. Okay, you lead and I will follow. Okay, if it's not looking like the word, then you need to revisit. And I'm telling you that as your sister, as someone who cares about you and your spirit. If your life ain't looking like the word, you need to revisit. You need to talk to God about that. Okay, put him at his word. And Malachi says, prove him. It tells us that we need to pay our tithes and offerings. We need to take care of our spiritual leaders. Hello, somebody. And he says, prove him. God, you said this. Okay, you said, God, you said you was my shepherd and I shall not want you. You said I was the head and not the tail. God, I'm looking like the tail right now. I'm looking like I'm lagging behind. I'm feeling like people are getting the best of me. I'm not, my end's not meeting right. Something is not right, God. And then God, you have to be open and listen to the spirit. When God says, this is what's missing, daughter. This is what you need to do, woman of God. So and so and so. You need to connect with this person right here. You need to join this right here. You need to get out of this right there. And bam. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Look at y'all what y'all done did to the time. Hold on. I'm going to have to. Let me see something here. Give God back his word, Jesse. Absolutely. That's how I pray. Y'all already know. Anybody that's read any of my books, anybody that was in the Equip the Conquer Challenge, y'all know I don't play that. Speak the word. All of the affirmations, all of the prayers come straight out of the scripture. God can't deny his own word. He cannot. He's not a man that he should lie. He put his word above his name. Hello, somebody. So you got to put the, the word back to God. God, you said that you want me to prosper and be in health even as my soul prosper. You said the last shall be first and the first shall be last. God, I want to be first. You said that if I seek your righteousness, your kingdom first, that all these other things, all these other things, that's that healthy, wealthy, wise. That's all this stuff. That's your ends being met. That's your children being okay. That's your house being okay. That's your peace. That's all these other things. So God has to do it. God, I mean, God literally has to do it. He literally has to do it. And his word will not return to him void. Come on, Tiff. Help me, somebody. That's right. Sis, Hazel said a whole word right there. Hazel, Hazel, 
Hazel, you said the whole word. Hazel said she had to apologize to God because she was feeling down in a dump. But God gave her the tools to pull her out of there. And Hazel not the only one I know for a fact. Jessney said her money had got a little bit funny. Guess what? Let me tell you something, Jessney. This is for anybody else. My spiritual dad said like this. If it don't meet the need, it must be a seed. If you don't have your bill money right, take a piece of that money. You ain't got all of it anyway. Take a piece of that money and sow it into the kingdom of God and say, God, this is a seed. Because guess what? When you have, Come on. Oh, I just felt that. Did you feel that? When you have seed in the ground, then you have a harvest on the way. When you have seed in the ground, then you have harvest on the way. Let me tell you something, Justine. Thank you for saying that. And we about to wind up getting out of here. That's got, that's about to be it. I got a whole three more pages of notes that we are obviously not going to get into. Because let me pour this right into you. I literally just, I was counseling with a, um, I was counseling with a wife the other day. And she's having some um, issues, a whole, whole lot of issues. And, um, you know, we pray, we counsel, you know, some things you need to do, blase, blase, blase. I told her, I said, so, I don't care if it's your last $5, so into a wife. Because the word, do y'all read the word or y'all don't read it? The word of God says what we make happen for somebody else, God will make happen for us. If it doesn't meet the need, it must be a seat. So a seat. I told her, I said, I don't care if it's your last $5. Cash app, send that $5 to a wife and tell her to go get her a Starbucks coffee. Go buy her um, a piece of cake and a donut and say it unto God and say, God, I'm sowing this seed. I'm sowing this seed. I want to be a blessing to a wife because I need me to be blessed in my wifedom. Hello, somebody. Guess what? It goes to a business. Let me just tell you one thing, okay? You wonder how somebody launched a business during COVID, how someone has a successful business during COVID. The someone I'm talking about is me, in case you didn't realize. I keep seed in the ground. Do you understand? I got my little sisters. I'm talking about 19, 20, 21 years old trying to launch businesses. So I'm see, what's your cap at? cash app, sis? Boom. There you go. Happy birthday. What's your cash app, baby? Boom. Seed in the ground. Do you know God honors that? Do you know heaven sees that? It could be $5. It could be $10. It could be $100. Scholarship funds, businesses. I'm talking about, I keep seed in the ground. So God got to bless me and he know that. And I don't play. Just like I'm talking to you, I talk to the Lord. I say, okay, God, it's all on you. Mr. Bolden is right here in the next room. We get on each other's nerves. You, you, this is, you know, and this is a small house we live in. Okay, on top of that, I'm a caregiver for an 80 year old, an 80 year old who decided to. <laughs> she sleep. An 80 year old who decided that she wanted to make neck bones today and stunk up the whole entire house. Mind you, I done shared with y'all already. I broadcast from the kitchen. I'm just like, Lord, really? Funky neck bones. Talking about early in the morning. I said, Lord. And it could be a little thing that make you get an attitude. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you have to pray. You have to keep seeds in the ground. You feeling crazy stuff, crazy going on in your house. Pray for somebody else. Okay? Sow a seed. Pray for somebody else. Remember time, talent, and treasure. Okay? Call and check on somebody. That is the surest way. When we turn it from selfish to selfless, that is the key. That is, I'm talking about, we talked about this last week, but that is the number one key to success in business life, relationships in the community. Go back and listen to that. Turn it from selfish to selfless. That, y'all, that changed my life, okay? Keep it seed in the ground. You might say, T, as bad as I got it, I really don't have no money. Like, I might have $2, I really don't have. Okay, that's your treasure. You don't have cash money. You have time, you have talent. Like I said, spend time with somebody, pray for somebody, okay? Do a service for somebody. Somebody, um, mainly, you know, go go buy, I, I think I know I said this before, go buy a loaf of bread and a, um, a thing of eggs and somebody. Guess what? Let me get close. They sell bread and eggs at the dollar store now. Come on, somebody. You can get changed off the couch and get $2. Go buy somebody a loaf of bread and some eggs. Hello? Seed in the ground, God honors this. That $2 could turn into $200,000. do not play with me. Hello? Okay? 
women of substance these are the keys this is what we do this is how we finish the year strong because i'm getting ready to kick 2021 in the face i'm kicking the door down i'm not taking nothing but yeses i'm not taking nothing but wins nothing but victory do you feel me if god can bring me through y'all 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 have about a god is dope t-shirts child i done bought the shirts and i gave some away for um prizes and so I'm on a VIP list. So they text me and email me all the time. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but they got a shirt. And then I got a, I don't even remember the shirt that I designed. I said, God protected me in the in the pandemic. So whatever, y'all go on the website, uh, tboldmedia.com slash shop. This is not a plug. But anyway, the God is dope, people. They got a shirt that said, if God can bring us through 2020, he can bring us through anything. And that is real. That's a whole word. Because he can. So I'm not taking nothing. You mean to tell me you let me. Look, you mean to tell me the devil thought I was down, tried to kill me in 2018. You mean to tell me the Lord blessed me to release not one but two books in 2019, okay? All word based, okay? Blessing the people going all around the world, okay? You mean to tell me the Lord let me launch a business in 20 okay i'm not taking nothing but victory in 2021 y'all better get with this and stop playing stop play oh my goodness and this is a word from my brother stop playing and take off stop playing and take off why are you still on the ground why are you walking around with the chickens when you are an eagle it's time to soar sis come on do this feel me okay I'm sick of y'all now. I don't. I, I, I like to hear the testimonies. I don't want to hear this other stuff. Okay. Yes, we go through, and I'm always. Let me make sure that y'all really feel me. Y'all know that. Um, I'm literally. I'm going to support you. I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to pray with you. That's what I do. Okay. I'm also going to teach you. I'm going to remind you what the word says. That's what I do. Okay, when I'm saying I don't want to hear it, I'm not saying I don't want to hear your prayer request and what's actually going on because I will support you through that. But what I'm going to do is stand you right back up. I'm going to prop you right back up and I'll put the word right back on you. But what did God say? Okay, if your life looked like this right here and the word looked like this right here, this needs to match up. It needs to, like, it needs to be a mirror image. The word said, when we look at the word and forget what the word says, like we look at the mirror and forget what we look like. Oh my God. Do y'all read it? It's in there. I, I mean, I promise I haven't made anything up. It's it's literally in there. So that's all I got. Yes, that's literally all I got. I love y'all. <laughs> I appreciate y'all time. This is wisdom from the word to finish the year strong. Okay. We must be obedient to God's word. We must be women of substance. Hazel said, keep your eye on the prize. Come on, Hazel. Yes, indeed. Press toward the mark of the calling, the high calling in Christ. If we want a prize, we got, oh my goodness. If we want a prize, we got to run. All of this stuff is in the word. You done heard preachers say it before and it sounds cute. But if you do your research, it's literally in the word. <laughs> Jessney, let's talk about um let's talk about that. Definitely um inbox me. I'll give you my phone number and email Jessney so that we can talk about um about getting you a coach. Yeah. <laughs> Rose Rose is my girl. Y'all know I've known Rose almost 30 years. Dude, first of all, do you know that that's crazy? Well, it's been what, 25 years, Rose? I always say it's almost 30, but it's been, I met Rose when I was 13. Rose, that's been almost 30, that's been almost 30 years. In two years, that'll be 30 years. That's crazy. Anyway, Rose know me. So, um, Rose said, I don't want to hear no another sad love song like Tony Bryce. And I don't. <laughs> I'm not with the pity party. I'm not, the, don't invite me to that. I'm not coming to that. I'm just not. I will support you with what the word says i will support you with what the word said i have all the empathy for you in the world but i'm gonna support you with what the word says okay sometimes it takes a little bit of tough love and y'all know i love everybody i love everybody god commanded me to do so i love everybody so that's what it is 
Amen. Y'all got prayer requests. God is awesome. I now I I gotta I gotta literally text my dad now because the Lord just showed up. The Lord just showed up. It's no way that I only shared really six verses tonight. <laughs> tonight, God know what He's doing. Y'all think I'm lying? I don't have to. I don't need to. I have three more pages of notes. Technically four, but how I got my um, scriptures spaced out a little bit, but. God knows what we needed. I needed to hear that myself. And I always watch the replay. So. Yes. Come on, Hazel. Get off the merry-go-round. Hazel said something right there that made me thought about. Like a scratch record that's just going around and around. So get off the merry-go-round. Get off. One thing about a merry-go-round, it don't go that fast. Hello. Oh, my God. Playing that music. Do, 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 do. A mess. Jump off. Jump off. Jump off. Don't keep going around in circles. My God. Y'all got prayer requests? We about to get out of here. Whew. And I really feel like something is steadily trying to bite me. Which is really ticking me off. God is so good. I appreciate y'all. Y'all time. Did I say hi to Sharonda? Hey, Sharonda. I don't know why the thing... You know, if y'all ever went live, it'll show you. You kind of see the little pictures of people pop up. Then the thing on the scroll, it says, so-and-so is here, wave at so-and-so. I don't know why it does it for some people and not for everybody. Yes. Bless you, Tiff. Love you. <laughs> okay, y'all. I know it's a lag and some of y'all type slow like me. So, I'm going to give y'all about 20 more seconds. I don't see no prayer requests. Yes, Alexandria, bless your heart. Absolutely. Jessney, bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Hazel. To God be the glory. Trust me, it is not me. I'm so thankful. I love it. I love that this is what I get to do. I get to serve in a way that I enjoy. And guess what? It's not always funny. You're not always going to enjoy it, but when your desires become God's desires, this just becomes cake. I mean, this is cake, okay? I love the Lord. Even when I'm under attack, it's still all good. Thank you, Sharonda. God bless you, darling. I appreciate y'all so much. All right, y'all, we'll be able to pray and get on out of here. No notes. Um, For those of you that were late or couldn't be here live, and I'm catching a replay, please drop the comment hashtag replay so that I can acknowledge you and engage with you. Again, if you have a longer or confidential prayer request, please email me at thehealgirl at gmail.com. I will not be providing notes for the rest of the year unless the Lord says so, which I don't think he is, but you never know. <laughs> so tune in, watch the replay, grab a pen, all of the above. Hey, Zoe, thank you. God bless you. To God be the glory. So I just keep it all the way real. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all, you know, we have emailed many of us. We have inbox. We have text. Y'all know me. And y'all know I'm from the hood. Y'all know those of you that know me well know that my mom is crazy. <laughs> and she's a pastor. So the apple don't fall far from the tree. So I just love the Lord. I want to see everybody win. I want to see women of God win. It's no reason that we shouldn't be taking over. Even when I'm under attack, I love the Lord. That's right, Hazel. Aw, okay, Rose, you be careful. We'll pray for um that friend of the family or family friend. For, I get it, though, the stylist. And, uh, and we'll pray for your friend as well. Let me just say, the enemy thought that he could release a spirit of fear in us with this um, COVID. And it did. It got real crazy. I'm telling you, I, I, I stayed, like, stayed in the house. I'm talking about I stayed in the house. Like, I didn't go nowhere. But, like, my mama house, my auntie, and then when my auntie started having too much company, I didn't go over there too, <laughs> too much. Okay. Like, for months, I I wasn't going anywhere. My husband um doesn't have any um 
pre-existing condition so he was doing all of the store stuff which he still for the most part does but i'm going out more now staying masked up and also let me drop this on y'all in the same spirit keep the spirit of peace keep the spirit of peace i don't know y'all know i don't do a lot of news but be mindful that um they are saying that we should be wearing protective eyewear now when we're out as well i don't know if y'all heard that um drop drop some hearts or some something if y'all have heard that but um they are re recommending protective eyewear as well when we go out so y'all keep your mask on keep y'all sanitizer when i tell you like i have several bottles of sanitizer like in my car several masks disposable and fancy ones <laughs> And, you know, sanitizer all in the pocketbook. I literally, this is, I'm telling y'all too much. I literally keep a whole bottle of alcohol like in my pocketbook. You understand what I'm saying? Just, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, to stay safe. But I just wanna say that I'm so thankful. We have people literally in the group who live with people who have beat COVID. So, we thank God. I've, I've literally seen, I got more than one example in this group of uh, wives whose husbands caught COVID and they did not. Let me tell you something. That is God. That is G-O-D. Okay. So, um, be wise. Don't be fearful. Okay. Let me scroll up. Because why did the thing stop scrolling? Thank you, Rose. Love you. Okay. All right. Let's pray and be out. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you. Thank you for who you are, God. You did it again. You showed up, Lord God, and you spoke a word, a life-changing word in our heart. God, you really showed up because you did it in six verses. Now, I don't know what you was doing, but <laughs> you did it, Lord. We are in awe of you, God. We literally bow before you, Lord God. We adore you. We love you so much. Thank you. There's none like you in all the earth lord god who wouldn't serve a god like this we love you and we just thank you god i thank you for each and every one of my sisters god you love them and i love them you put a real love in my heart for these women and i'm so thankful for them god i'm speaking a word in their life right now lord god because we have what we say thank you god right now for doing something awesome something mind-blowing in each and every one of their faith family and finances god you can do it you are making them healthy wealthy and wise oh god they are victorious and they make your name glorious god they will glorify you lord god in all that they do they will give thanks and acknowledge you in all that they do god so i just thank you for them lord god thank you for doing something great god we come lifting up those who are grieving and those who are ill right now in the name of jesus lord god your people, God, you know, thank you for taking care of your children. Thank you for taking care of all creation. It's in your hand, God. Thank you for Rose. She always thinking of somebody else, God. She very rarely even drops a prayer request on her own. So I'm going to ask you to do something special in her life, Lord God. Meet her needs, fill her voice, build her up where she may be torn down, God. Do it, do it, do it. Give her that peace and that joy. God and her stylist that is grieving and then her girlfriend who just got that positive test Lord God also my girlfriend who got a negative test Lord God but she dealing with co-workers that got positive tests Lord God there are others who have diagnosis Lord God with the COVID Lord God thank you Lord God that you are yet in control you are yet a healer or you are yet shining love and light into the lives of your people. So do it, God. Do it so that you will get the glory. The credit is all yours. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. So we just thank you. Thank you for doing it. God, thank you for Alexandria. How you blessing her, Lord God. She's healthy, wealthy, and wise, Lord God. And yet with 14 days left in the year, Lord God, you can provide her even more clarity. Clarity of thought clarity of vision, Lord God, blessing her ministry in a mighty way, Lord God. Thank you for how you're blessing Tiffany's ministry, Tiffany's family, Lord God. Thank you for doing something wonderful, Lord God. Thank you for the testimony, the praise report that's going to come forth, Lord God, how you've done something great in her faith, family, and finances, Lord God. She's steady, holding strong, and I thank you. Lord, thank you for my sister, Helena, Lord God, celebrating her birthday on today, Lord God. And she saw fit to come in and spend a little time with her sisters, Lord God. I'm so thankful for her. Thank you for blessing her. She's healthy, wealthy, and wise. She's a wise woman. She's a wise 
loving wife. She has everything that she needs. The spirit of lack and poverty are broken off of her life right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of confusion, the spirit of delusion, the spirit of defiance. Feet, Lord God, the spirit of procrastination right now in the name of Jesus, God. Thank you that she's going to get in a hurry for you and do what you have called her to do, Lord God. Lord, we pray for the fivefold ministry all over the world, Lord God. Bless your apostles, your pastors, your teachers, your prophets, and your evangelists, Lord God. Bless those in their sphere of influence, Lord God, that they will walk up right before you that they will delight themselves in you, that you will withhold no good thing from them, that you will give them the desires of their heart and their desires will line up with your word. Lord, I thank you for these women, everyone who will hear this live and everyone who will catch this on the replay, that their lives will line up with your word, Lord God, that it will be a mirror image. And thank you, Lord God, that they are women of substance, that they are blessed. I thank you for Jessie, God. I thank you for blowing her mind. Showing her how to sow seeds of her time, talent, and treasure and doing an amazing thing in her life, God, as only you can. She's a woman of God and a woman of prayer, Lord. Let her pray your word. Let her stand on your word. Let her give you all of her and trust you in all that she is and in all that she has. God, we love you and thank you for it. Anything that I may have missed, Holy Spirit, you fill in the gap. Seal it bless move as only as you can lord god and let these ladies arm themselves with the whole arm of god let them walk in the fruit of the spirit cover them under the blood god bless them to have sweet rest that they will have an amazing holiday season that they won't be stressed or overexerted but that it will be a fun loving peaceful and joyous time lord god and that you will be at the center of it all in jesus holy name god hallelujah and amen Woo, y'all know when I get into praying, golly, thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord and I love his word. Yes, Sarah, bless you. Love you so much. Each and every one of y'all appreciate you. Woo. Okay, announcement. First of all, are any of them in here? Viv, I think Viv, Um, <clears throat> excuse me, work schedule change. Um, love you, Lena. Love you, Sarah. Love you, Tip. Love everybody. Love everybody. I love all you, Rose. Jessie, my new friend, Alexandria, Sharonda, I love each and every one of you. Um, don't jump off just yet. So just want to say another congratulations to my girl, Viv. Miss Vivian Jones was one of our Winter Wonderland uh, raffle winners. And then my other sis, this is my sister that goes actually to my church. So this is my sister, Michelle Key. Congratulations, ladies, on winning the raffle. God bless you. Appreciate you. You will get your goodies soon, soon, soon. Um, shout out and thanks to Shay Rice who donated, um, beautiful custom tees to go in those boxes. Like she rounded it off. So it's just like, wow. So thank God for that. But okay. Also, let me make the announcement too. We know what tomorrow is, but let me rewind. Um, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay. What's tonight is Thursday where we normally Thursday at seven. We're normally right here live. Next Thursday is Christmas Eve. The following Thursday is New Year's Eve. So guess what? I will not be here. I'll be with my family. I'm going to be somewhere being fat. I'm going to be eating some cake, drinking some hot chocolate. I'm going to be talking about what Rudolph doing. I'm trying to see what all of that's happening. You understand what I'm saying? So I will not be here. Tuesday, we're going to be doing Thursday Night Live, the remix, because it's going to be Friday afternoon. So for the next two weeks, it's going to be Tuesday at 4 p.m., can be here live, please, please catch the replay, okay? So next Tuesday and the following Tuesday to end the year, we're going to end this year strong, going to kick 2021 right in the face, okay? And then tomorrow, we know it's fun Friday. Please come in the group. Check out your girl. It's fun. This is the best. Jessie, thank you for sticking around. This is the best time to join. I'm so pleased that you jumped in the group on a Thursday so you get boom, right? Just love all in your face for Thursday Night Live Bible Study. Then tomorrow... It's fun Friday where we play games of this or that. We always have a nice um, chick chat right around lunchtime. It'd be some crazy scenarios, interesting probing questions. And I want to know what you think. So make sure you stick around for the fun and games tomorrow. Jump in the group. 
turn on that notification button so you'll know when your sisters and when I'm posting in the group and so you can get in on the fun as well as those wisdom nuggets that are always being dropped in the group. So I think that's it, y'all. Love y'all. Like I said, want to see y'all tomorrow in the group and definitely want to see you next Tuesday at 4 for the remix Thursday Night Live on Tuesday. Afternoon, y'all. I'm beat down. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'm about to go get me something to eat. And then we're going to bed. I'm going to do the replay and drop your scripture. It wasn't but one scripture. The scripture was Psalms 1, child. God did something. But I love y'all. I will still drop that in there. Appreciate y'all. Have a good, blessed, nice, sweet rest to you all. Wonderful, wonderful things to your life. And I will see you very soon. Until then, good night. Love you.